Hi there. My name is Dr. Jenny Kropivinsky. I'm a hospitalist at UCSF, and today I'm going to talk to you about alcohol withdrawal. More specifically, we'll talk about the signs and symptoms of the four stages of alcohol withdrawal. We'll talk about the SEWA score and using it to assess um, the severity of withdrawal, as well as discussing medications used to treat withdrawal. Symptoms of mild alcohol withdrawal are due to autonomic hyperactivity. Mild symptoms are commonly referred to as the shakes and can include tremor, tachycardia, GI upset, sweating, headache, anxiety. They typically come on six hours after the last drink and last 24 to 48 hours if they don't progress. Alcoholic hallucinosis occurs anywhere from 12 to 24 hours after a patient's last drink and is characterized by visual hallucinations. Patients commonly describe bugs crawling in their body. Now, unlike delirium tremens, patients are definitively not confused. Withdrawal seizures are generalized tonic-clonic seizures occurring anywhere from 12 to 24 hours after the last drink, and they're typically short-lived, lasting less than three minutes, often only with one episode. If you notice recurrent or prolonged seizures, it should prompt you to investigate alternative causes. Delirium tremens is a severe form of alcohol withdrawal and a late manifestation. Symptoms of DTs don't start until day two of abstinence, and the syndrome is characterized by confusion. Patients are very delirious. They're not aware of where they are. They commonly also have hallucinations in addition to severe agitation and profoundly deranged vital signs, such as fever, hypertension, and tachycardia. These patients often require ICU level care. I use the CEWA score in all of my patients with severe alcohol withdrawal to help me guide management. A CEWA score is a composite score of 10 symptoms and signs of alcohol withdrawal, and you can find the full evaluation tool at mdcalc.com. A CEWA below eight indicates your patient is not yet in withdrawal, whereas a CEWA above eight indicates alcohol withdrawal and medical management is warranted. A SIVA above 24 tells me my patient is in severe withdrawal and may require infusions of benzodiazepines or intubation or even ICU. When a SIVA score is consistently below eight for two days, my patients are safe for discharge. Now, treatment of alcohol withdrawal is aimed at achieving a SIVA score below eight, controlling symptoms, and getting my patient to a state where they're comfortable, mildly sedated, but arousable. Benzodiazepines are the first line treatment. And you have many options, and this in part is going to depend what is available to your institution. I tend to use chlordiazepoxide, otherwise known as Librium, for my patients who don't have liver disease and are able to take orally. And I use IV or oral lorazepam in my elderly patients and those with underlying liver dysfunction or acute alcoholic hepatitis. Both medications can be given every one to two hours until a CEWA score below eight is consistently achieved. In the instances that I encounter a patient with withdrawal seizures, in addition to benzodiazepines, sometimes I use phenobarbital given at 260 milligram bolus that can be repeated at lower doses every 30 minutes until signs of mild intoxication. All patients receiving repeated doses of benzos need to be monitored for oversedation and decreased respiratory rate. Once my patients are stable with their SIBA score for 24 hours, I start to taper the benzos at approximately 25% per day. A few other considerations. All patients admitted with acute withdrawal should be screened for comorbid conditions, including alcoholic liver disease, gastritis, pancreatitis, aspiration pneumonia, psychiatric illness, and neurologic complications. Virtually all patients with alcohol withdrawal are significantly volume depleted and should get IV fluids. In addition to monitoring and repletion of their electrolytes, specifically potassium, magnesium, and phosphate, they should also get thiamine before administration of glucose to prevent Wernicke's encephalopathy and a multivitamin with folate. So in conclusion, remember to recognize the four alcohol withdrawal syndromes, tremors, hallucinations, seizures, and delirium tremens. 
use the CWO protocol to guide prescribing medications to treat withdrawal symptoms and provide supportive care with IV fluids, electrolyte repletion, thymine, and a multivitamin. For help, you can always call the Poison Control Center, the number provided below. Thank you very much. This is UCSF in collaboration with New York City. We love you and we wish the best for you.